Hi, Coach. Hi, Nishu. Hello, good afternoon. Very good afternoon. I think we can start. Uh, are you good, uh, Nishu and Coach? Yes. Uh, it's a bit loud there because it's... Uh... Hi, uh, good afternoon to Kerala Passes MD-1 press conference. So we have our head coach and an issue. Uh, the floor is open for the question. As a request, uh, please ask between coach and the player. So who's going to ask first? Shall I ask? Yes, yes, Rina. Please go ahead. Good afternoon, Coach and Nishukuma. Myself, Srinath Mudumar from. I have three questions here. Uh, two for Coach and one for Nishu. And shall I forward? Move forward. Please, please. Okay, okay. Uh, so, whenever Murray has attended the pitch, uh, entered the pitch, uh, the final third has uh, looked more promising. And uh, uh, what do you think about the? Uh, what do you think about playing Nishu Kumar uh, as? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pretty much nervous about this press conference. I'm sorry. And uh, uh, so, what do you think of playing two strikers uh, instead of using one striker? Is my question? Could you repeat the question because I couldn't. We couldn't hear here properly. Sorry. Okay, sir. Of course, of course. Sorry. So, whenever Murai has entered the this? pitch, yes, yes, of course, sir. Whenever Murai has entered the pitch, the final third has looked a bit more promising. So, do you think it's time to you to play with two strikers, without uh, instead of one striker? Okay, it's one. It's one of the possibilities that we have, you know, to play with one or two strikers. Uh, we will. Uh, we are thinking which is the which is the best option, and uh, accordingly we we will uh, we will play. It's going to depend of the of the our strategy to the match. Sorry, sir, you are you are not audible to me. Could you please repeat it? Yes, I said that uh, we have different possibilities. We can play with one striker, we can play with two, even we can play with three. Normally we play, we play one, four, three, three. So it depends on the match, it, it depends on the strategy, it depends on the players that we have available. And uh, we are working during this, uh, during this week to try to find the best, the best uh, possibility for us. Okay, coach, thank you. And uh, my second question is that, in the last of four matches, uh, the stats suggest us that the passes directed to Cooper are astonishingly low in the uh, uh, low in number inside the opposition box. And uh, what are your plans regarding this for your next match? Sorry, sorry, we can. I don't know. We, I think we have to improve the, this uh, this. Uh, this press conference because we can, we we could not hear properly here, no. Yeah. So we cannot hear we okay, cannot sir. hear properly your question. Sorry. I only okay, I only understood two but I did understand more. Could you repeat, please? Okay, I'm sorry, sir. I can I can repeat it. Okay, of course, sir. In the last four matches, the stats suggest us that the passes directed to Cooper are low, very low in number in the opposition box and. Uh, what are your plans regarding that for a victory in next match? Okay. Um, we are trying to improve. Uh, we are trying to improve our offensive, but, but we are trying to improve all the aspects of the game. You no, know, we have to improve uh, defensively. We have to improve in transition. We have to improve in the in the offensive part, especially in the last third. We are trying. We are working, and uh, we are hoping that in the next game, the everything is going to be, is going to be better. Okay, sir. My third question is for Nishu Kumar. Nishu, good afternoon. Welcome. Okay, Nishu Kumar. Uh, we all know that you are an enthusiastic person and uh, having a smile and a great gesture towards the game. And 
it's a game against, against your former club. How it feels? How much uh, emotional connection is there in this game for you? Yeah, I was uh, 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 I was in Bangalore for and uh, uh, like uh, it was my first professional club and I have great memories with them. But uh, now I am in Kerala Blasters, so I am looking forward for this match. Like uh, not special for this match, like every match we are looking. So uh, Bangalore, they are a good team and uh, we are preparing for them. And this is just uh, like uh, important match for us. So uh, I'm prepared for that match. Okay, thank you. And my questions are over. And uh, good luck for the game. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, who wants to go next? Can I? Haru, please. Okay. Hi, coach. Hi, Nishu. Uh, so I have four Hello. questions in total, uh, two for the coach and two for Nishu. I'll start with my question for the coach. Uh, so first question, after the loss against FC Goa, what was the kind of message that you had for your team? Okay, uh, no, we were uh, upset, disappointed. Uh, we were not happy with our performance, especially in the middle of the game. But uh, my message is that I believe in the team. I, I, I have uh, full confidence in all the players, full confidence in the work we are doing. And uh, the, we have to continue working harder and better to, to improve our results. Thank you. And uh, next question, uh, with Costa getting ruled out of this game, obviously because of his red card against FC Goa, who can we see in the starting eleven instead of him? You have, you have preferred a Costa-Kone partnership at CB. So instead of Costa, who will be playing uh, in the starting eleven against Bengaluru FC? Uh, we have different possibilities. We have uh, possibilities. Um, we can play with uh, with Sandeep, with Tara, with Hakwa, central defender. We have the possibility. Okay. Thank you, coach. Play with Vicente, central defender. We have different possibilities. You will see tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, coach. And uh, next two questions are for Nishu. Hi, Nishu. Uh, so, as you said, Bengaluru FC are a good team, but you have uh, you left them last season and joined us this summer. So, what are your impressions of KB, uh, first impressions of KBFC and you know the team in general, having worked with them for the past couple of months? Yeah, I'm feeling very good uh, in the, uh, in my new team, like. Uh, uh, we are playing football, we are playing good game, uh, we are going, playing for back, uh, from, from back, and uh, uh, and now it's uh, like I am adapting a uh, new, new strategy and it's uh, uh, very good for me and uh, we are just preparing for next game, like uh, we, 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 we need uh, points now, so we are preparing for that. Okay, so uh, well, four matches without a win is quite understandably a tough situation to be as a player. So, what was the situation like in the dressing room after the FC Goa game, uh, and you know, uh, and how have the team responded to the defeat? You know, after it's been one week since then, how has the team responded? Uh, yeah. Last game uh, and uh, take uh, for, for this match uh, this uh, against Bangalore we we had uh, seven, uh, one week so we we are improving our uh, our uh, game we are playing well so and uh, which we did mistakes and we work for that mistake so we are uh, working for it and uh, I hope we uh, I hope we we win next game. You, uh, so let's assume that uh, you will. Uh, let's just say that you will score against Bangalore FC tomorrow. Will you celebrate against your former club? Yeah, of course. Now I'm Kerala Blaster player, and uh, and uh, yeah, I do. Well, thank you, coach. Thank you, Nishu. Hopefully, you score for us. So all the best. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Hari. Uh, Nishan. Yes, uh, hi, Coach. Um, hi, Nishu. Uh, Nishan here from Gold. Uh, one question, question for uh, the player, and uh, one question for Coach. And uh, for Coach, it seems like Bengaluru FC uh, have not been, you know, been at their best. Like you know, every every team has had an issue, um, either injury wise or be it suspensions or be it, you know gelling you know with the group because of the short pre-season and all that. So do you think now is the best time to take on a team like Bengaluru FC against whom you know Kerala Blasters have not had a good record? Uh, and you know how how do you see how do how do you analyze the opposition? I mean, they've got uh, a bit of an issue. I mean they've got concerns in their team as well. So uh, how do you see the game uh, turning out? Okay, I think that they have a very good team with very good uh, Indian players, most of them internationals, uh, very good foreigners, uh, good coaching staff. Uh, they are working well, improving day by day. Uh, they, they changed the last, last two games, they changed the formation. So it's, uh, they, are a, they are a good team. Of course, we, they are in the process to, to be better, the same, the same than us. Uh, for us, it's, it's going to be a big challenge, but we are we are very happy to play to play this match and, and, and to show that we are we are we are improving and we are we are in the process to be a better team. Um, you know, Kerala Blasters versus Bengaluru FC have always been about the fans. Uh, the rivalry kicked off. Uh, it did not kick off on the field, if you remember. It kicked off off the field in one of the games. And then it's always been about social media, the banter, everything has been, you know, this, this rivalry, this fixture has always been. What do you think without the fans inside the stadium, uh, do you think how different the, um, you know, such big games uh, is going to be? Uh, a game like Bengaluru versus Kerala Blasters, how, we have been part of the Bengaluru squad against Kerala Blasters. So without the fans, uh, what is the difference that you're going to see in the game? And uh, do you think the teams will get a chance, you know, especially Blasters who have not had a good record? Do you think they get the, they get the chance to you know, focus more on the football a little bit more because you'll be playing without the fans in that stadium? Or do you, do you not think that's the case? Can you tell, share your thoughts on that? Sorry, but uh, during your question, it was, uh, it was a gap and we couldn't we couldn't hear okay, the whole yeah. question. So, okay, I'm going to repeat and, it. And, and, and we don't know if it's a question for, for me or for Nishu. Yeah, my question was for Nishu. For me? Uh, the player. Yeah, yeah my no, question no. was for Nishu. So I was asking whether, you know, this Bengaluru FC versus Kerala Blasters game has always been about the fans, right? It's always been about social media. It's always been about banter. It's all the, the rivalry kicked off because of the fans, uh, two fan clubs. So, do you think you know how difference, how much difference does it make, you know, playing such a big game uh, in behind closed doors without fans? And it's always going to be on social media again, once again. So, how different as a player, how different is it going to be the preparation ahead of the game and during the game? Uh, well, yeah, uh, without fans, like. Uh, it's uh, uh, the atmosphere will be not uh, uh, like previous games, but uh, this is a match we we have to take uh, like uh, serious match, and uh, we are missing the fans and all. But uh, this is a very important game, and uh, it's a Southern Derby, and uh, we we have to win this game. And, but yeah, and uh, and. Uh, you know uh, this covid uh, covid situation uh, this is for our safety only so so we have to respect that and uh, we just uh, we are just focusing on our game only thank you both thank you coach thank you player best wishes for tomorrow thank you thank you nishan uh, anyone else Uh, Sudish, please go ahead. Uh, hi, coach. Hi, everyone. This is Sudish from the Nutmeg Assist. 
so my first question is for coach. Uh, of course, this was not uh, what you might have thought would be the start to Kerala Blaster season. So uh, after these games, what do you think? Are there any adjustments on your initial plans or any expectations on what is to come? Hello, uh, good afternoon. Yes, uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't think that uh, in the first, uh, first four games we, we only get uh, two points, but it's, uh, sometimes it happens. Uh, we are a new team. Uh, we are trying to improve in the aspect that, uh, that uh, we have to improve, that we are showing that uh, in the, during the games that, uh, that we have to improve clearly in, in every aspect. And now uh, we are focused to try to, 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 uh, to avoid these mistakes that we have uh, almost every match and also try to improve our offensive game and try to, to, try to create more, more chances than before. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, thank you, Coach. Uh, I have another que I, I have another question for you. Uh, I I wanted to ask this from the very first presser, but I thought it was way too early. But since uh, we've already had quite a few matches with you, how do you think ISL compares to your previous ventures on other other countries? How are you feeling it right now? Uh, comparing with what? Sorry. Comparing with the previous clubs that you, could you repeat, worked with, uh, because we could... uh, comparing with the previous, but you, you mean the game? Yeah, the the, the level, the level but, of games and but uh, comparing what? Comparing with the ah, the level yeah. of the games. Yeah. Yeah. But comparing leagues or comparing teams, what do you mean? Uh, comparing the league, uh, the level at which the league is. In the league with other leagues, yeah. So can okay. I, can I repeat? Uh, I think the uh, sorry. Yeah, can I repeat my question so it will be kind of clear? Yes, repeat your question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, since you've ha like since you've coached Kerala Blasters for quite quite a few league matches in ISL, how do you think ISL compares to other leagues that you have already managed your clubs in? Okay, uh, I think uh, I think India League uh, every year is uh, is stronger uh, with uh, better organization, better class, better better uh, better, better coaching staff, better players. So it's a it's a it's a very good league, very very even league. You can you can expect uh, every result in every game, and uh, you know it's different to compare uh, uh, the Indian League with. With one European uh, European league, no, because um, for example, in, in Polish football is uh, is more more physical. Um, the style of the of the teams are, are different in terms of uh, most of the teams uh, they are very strong defensively and uh, play counter attack uh, because it's the culture of the of the country, the culture of Polish football. For example, in Spain is completely different. Spain, I think we are. Uh, we have uh, more uh, more possibilities in terms in, ta in tactical terms. There are different different teams. You have, for example, Atletico Madrid with a more defensive style. We can we can say, but now, for example, this season is playing fantastic football. You have uh, you have uh, teams at Barcelona with a very very clear uh, very clear style, very clear idea of the of the game. Um, the teams of the north of Spain that they are more physical, the teams of the south of Spain that they are more tactical and more technical. So it's, it's, it's difficult to compare. Anyway, uh, the, I think that the that Indian Indian Super League is a is a very good league, with very good level, with, uh, with different styles also also in the teams. And uh, every day uh, we can see very good games. Yeah, thank you, coach. Now my question is for the player. Hi, uh, issue. If I'm not wrong, you made your way all through from the elite academy and to the professional ranks. How has the journey been so far? Yeah, it's, it's been an amazing journey for me. Like I'm bigger football academy and then AFF regional academy and then under 6 19. It's been a great uh, journey for me, and uh, I, have, I never uh, imagined that. But uh, uh, 
I got this opportunity and I am very thankful to AFF who, who, who gave this opportunity to me and other players. So it's been an amazing journey for me. Uh, yeah, and another question, a lot of things were being said about your deal to uh, Kerala Blasters and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things were there when your deal happened. So can you walk us through how did you join Kerala Blasters and how is it going so far as a blaster? Yeah, well, uh, Kerala Blasters is a very big club and uh, uh, to play for them, it's, it's honor for me. And, uh, uh, and it was very big, uh, very uh, difficult decision for me to take this decision, but uh, uh, everyone knows like Kerala Blaster is a big team, and uh, I'm uh, so I took this decision, and uh, I'm I'm happy uh, here, and uh, and uh, yeah, I'm happy here. Yeah, uh, thank you. You definitely seem happy, and uh, yeah, uh, best of luck to both the coach and the player. Uh, I hope we get back to winning ways soon. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sudhir. Please go ahead. Oh, yeah, uh, Coach, this is Stan from the Hindu. Uh, we've had uh, four games without a win. Uh, how tough is it to raise the morale of the boys? Uh, uh, is there a worry that this could also be like previous seasons where we've had a very, very bad time the last uh, couple of seasons? Okay, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, but we have to be, in this moment, we have to be brave. We have to, we have to work better and harder. And we have to, to have confidence in ourselves because uh, we know that we, we have a good team, we have good players, and we have to, to create the, 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 the best scenario that, that every, everyone can play better and we, we, can, we can play at, in, in our real level. Thank you, coach. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Richie, can I ask one, one additional question? Please, Nishan, please go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to get uh, a bit of uh, injury update and team news from your coach. Any, any uh, niggles, any snorks, any, anyone unavailable for the game? Uh, Sergio Didoncha can't be playing. He's already, he's already in yeah. Spain. And, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are working uh, with all the players, some, some of them, they are recovering for, for injury, but we will see uh, today, today we have uh, our, last, uh, our last training session and uh, after the training session, we will decide if uh, everyone can play or if some, some player is not ready to play tomorrow match. Yeah, thank you, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nishant. Uh, anyone else? Shall I ask one more? Yeah, yeah, Srinath, please. Peter Bukovic, uh, from the side of fans, I have a question. KBFC hasn't won a single match so far, and uh, what can the fans expect from this team for the upcoming matches or this season? Sorry, could you, could you repeat, please? Of course, sir. KBFC hasn't won a single match so far. And what can the fans expect from this team for the coming matches? They can expect a team that they, can expect a team that they, are, uh, they are going to, to fight for the three points since the, since the beginning of the match. That they are, they are going to give everything, everything in the pitch. And they they are going to do uh, a team that is going to try to, to play good football, uh, to create chances, to defend well, and to try to get a good result. Okay, coach. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have time for last taking last two questions. Anyone would be interested? Uh, Richie, can I go? Yeah, yeah, Sandra, please, please. Okay, uh, this is for the coach. 
Uh, Coach, do you think uh, this assignment, this assignment with Kerala classes, is tougher than, than what you had expected? Could you repeat, please? I couldn't hear you. Uh, do you think uh, this assignment with Kerala Blasters is tougher than what you had expected? The assignments? Yeah, the assignment, the, the assignment as, a, as a head coach, the role as a head coach. Do you think it's much more tougher than what you had expected? The, to be here, you mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the role, the role of a head I, coach. I, I mean, cannot get you, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about the role of a head coach. Do you think this assignment as a head coach is tougher than what you had expected? Yes. No, no, because uh, you never know how how is going to start the season. I know that the, that we we have a, a tough challenge. Uh, this team didn't qualify to the in the last two seasons. We are trying to to create a, a good team. We are in the process. We think, and I'm I'm sure that this this team is going to is going to perform well. Uh, it's a question of time, and, it, uh, and also it's a question to work better and harder. Uh, if you, maybe I have confidence in the players and in the and in the team, and hopefully uh, we are going. To... Thank you, coach. Uh, time for the last question. I think uh, uh, Coach and Isha, I think they're done with it. Uh, thank you so much and uh, thank you all who joined us. Wish you all the best for the tomorrow's match. Thank you, Coach. All, all thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.